Local students tossed from their seats when a vehicle hit a school bus. Action News Jax was the first to show you video of this violent crash last night. The suspect in the case was sentenced to 20 years in prison this week. New at 6, Action News Jax investigates whether the impact to the students could have been minimized if they were wearing their seat belts. Action News Jax, Kevin Clark is on the south side where he's been digging and found out that while some school buses have seat belts, drivers can't make students wear them. Video shows children thrown from their seats hitting the floor of a Bradford County school bus after it was hit by a semi truck in 2014. The terrifying video shows students not wearing their seat belts, so we did some checking. Florida statute reads in part, each school bus that is purchased new after December 31st, 2000 and used to transport students in grades pre-K through 12 must be equipped with safety belts or any other restraint system. Action News Jack's law and safety expert Dale Carson says there could be loopholes to avoid that requirement, such as buying a used school bus instead. I'm just not sure based on a statute that school buses that are being used today have to have seat belts. I called around and found Duval, Clay, and St. John school districts only use buses with seat belts. And district leaders in Bradford County tell me there were seat belts on the bus during this terrifying incident or this one last year in St. John's County. Carson says while state law requires students to be restrained, enforcement is the toughest challenge. Would you hold up an entire busload of 30 children because one student? was being oppositional and wouldn't wear a seatbelt. If they don't buckle up, maybe they should be written up and parents should be contacted. You know, like I said, it's your kids. If you don't care, who else will?